Hello, how are you? My name is Rachel. Today we are going to be talking about Instagram filters, what they are, what they do, the potential dangers, and I do have my best friend over here. In honor of spooky season, I have some dead roses over there. That's lovely. So if you don't have an Instagram and you don't know what Instagram filters are, I'm primarily speaking about the ones that really alter and transform your face, like plastic surgery. We see celebrities using them. We see influencers using them and I think it's pretty wild that people are doing this. I just want to talk about it and I want to hear what you guys think. I will obviously tell you my opinion and I will share some articles, but I want this to be a topic of discussion because I find it fascinating. Okay, so this is just more of like a smooth over filter. It doesn't change my face too much, but in my opinion, it still changes my face and makes me look a little bit better, I guess. This one I think is kind of crazy. Like I look like a different person than what I do in real life, as you can tell by the side by side. Um, but I'm gonna turn it down. So I think what a lot of influencers do is they turn it down so it looks natural, but it still is a transformation. Like, you guys can see, <laughs> I look so different. It's ridiculous. Um, and to me, it makes me feel like, okay, why don't I look like that in real life? What's the deal? So let's move on. Oh, okay, so let's move on to the next one. This one is like Gigi. I see like a lot of influencers using it but and I know it's a different angle than the camera but this is quite clearly a different face especially if I use the eye color oh my gosh I mean I obviously look very very different and the thing to me is people don't use these filters ironically they actually use it to enhance or make them look better which is confusing for me um, so, yeah, that's crazy. Let's try to move on to another one. This one is like, it kind of keeps me looking similar to how I look like in real life, but not really. Still a little bit of distortion on my face, but yeah, I mean, this one is a little bit more tame. What do you guys think? Um, do you think people should be allowed to use these? I know that they said back in like last year when I discovered these existed, and I'm going to show a clip of right when I discovered what these were. I know that they said that they were going, like Instagram was going to remove them, but I think they found their way back into society. Um, I think this one just smooths out my face. I saw one of my favorite YouTubers use this one, and I think it's just nice. I, I don't see a problem with these when they just like slightly change your skin texture. My hand is getting so tired, I'm gonna have to switch to the other hand. Yes, I have two pop sockets on my phone. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, this one I think is really interesting. A lot of people use this pure baby face. Look how different my face looks. Like, different. I didn't know you could do this at first because I would ask my friends, like, what? Is I would turn down um, the filter right here and then it makes you look semi-normal. I think that's what influencers do so that it doesn't look so drastic. But, I mean, even something like this, do you guys think, do you think that this is problematic or distorting uh, real life beauty standards? This one's just ridiculous. This one's obviously fake, but yeah, a little scary. This one's actually ridiculous. Like, I don't know anyone who uses this, but I guess you can. I feel ridiculous right now. This one also, it's called Cute Kylie. I don't know if that's like a reference to Kylie Jenner, but a really fake Instagram filter. Obviously not what I look like in real life. This one's just fun. 
<laughs> I don't know what's going on here. I think you've had enough seeing my face on these filters. Let's talk about it. I want to talk about this actually in an intersectional way, so I want to include race, class, and gender when I speak about this. I am going to be reading some articles because I think it sums up my points and my opinions about it pretty well. So the first one I'm going to do is an article from the website S cmp.com. I will link it down in the description box with all the other articles and resources if you would like to check them out and dive deeper as well. This article says that according to a survey by the American Academy of Facial, Plastic, and Reconstructive Surgery in 2017, 55% of surgeons said that they've seen patients who asked for surgeries to improve their appearance and selfies up from 42% in 2015. Two year gap, he's seeing a 13% increase of people wanting to change their face because of some type of something. You know, what is that? What makes us want to change our faces? Moving forward from that statistic, because I wanted to show like real proof that there is an increase in wanting to change your looks or society's increase on wanting to change their looks to appeal to a beauty standard. People talking about the Instagram face trend, achieving this Instagram face may lead to a condition called selfie dysmorphia, which sounds silly. I don't even know why I'm laughing though because it's not it's not it is but like sad it's sad that this is what 2020 has come to anyways it's a disorder defined as an urge to heavily edit your own digital image and a strong dissatisfaction with your appearance after using using digital filters how many influencers or even people in your daily life can you think of who are like this because I can list off a lot I know a lot of people a lot of influencers a lot of celebrities that I feel like I could apply this to because there are some people who just like can't post a picture of themselves without altering their face in some way which in my personal opinion I think is unfortunate because humans weren't made to be perfect we live very imperfect lives and that is the beauty of life nothing's perfect humans shouldn't have to constantly worry about their appearance when you focus too much on the outside you neglect the inside you forget to water or grow the inner beauty that's inside of you and ultimately it doesn't make you a fun person to hang out with if all you care is about your outer looks and how to look better than other people i just want to live in a world where we don't have to think about those things all the time that's not the main discussion i feel like women especially or people who identify as female are more praised for their looks but i guess guys too like when a woman or a female presenting person accomplishes something i feel like the first thing people say or comment about are their looks versus what they did it's so weird because beauty is fleeting and beauty is also deceiving it could be really beautiful people out there but they're not actually beautiful if they don't have beautiful hearts you know and that's what we should be focusing on i know it's easy to say that looks aren't everything because looks are important in society in today's world because it sucks but that's the truth i'm so not eloquent right now but i'm not saying looks don't matter because they do ultimately the way you look helps you get jobs or the way that you're perceived that's why we talk about um, intersectionality because the nicer clothes you have the more people want to pay attention to you if you are a person of white ancestry you can probably get more opportunities than a person of color a black person an indigenous person and gender a lot of men get more things than women they get paid more than women so i'm not saying looks ma don't matter because they do matter but I wish that we lived in a world where it didn't matter as much and people really focused on who they are in the inside. This term was coined by a cosmetic surgeon in Britain called Tijon Eshu. Eshu, I'm sorry if I don't pronounce the name right. Probably didn't um, because he noticed an increasing number of patients were eager, eager to have surgery to look like their filtered selfies. So there you have it. I like that gender is thrown in this from a different perspective of a male. This is a guy named Levi Jed Murphy. He's 23 years old. He's an influencer, TikTok user. I've never personally seen him, but he documented the surgeries that he had gone through to look like his filtered self on Instagram, which included getting stuff like a brow lift, a temple lift, a canthoplasty eyelid surgery, to make his eyes look more cat eye like, and lip lift, which I hate the fox eye, cat eye trend. I think it's so frustrating that people have to capitalize on features that aren't don't belong to them. 
that is a whole nother discussion, but I just have to say that I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of it. I'm so done with that. Anyways, quote from this, this kid, Murphy. This kid, I'm the same age as this kid. Social media has a massive impact on how people think about their appearance. When I upload a picture and start getting likes, if it doesn't get a certain amount of likes in a certain amount of time, I delete it straight away. I have heard of people who have done this. It is so messed up what technology or social media does to you psychologically that you think that if you don't get enough outside affirmation that you can't internally feel good about yourself. Your identity does not lie in what other people think of you. And if you do have a bad personality, then fix it. But ultimately, what other people think of you does not define who you are. And we need to be teaching the younger generations these lessons, these ideas, because it is so toxic and damaging the world that we live in. I cannot even imagine being a teenager right now in 2020. Even being younger than a teenager, like how messed up it is to live in this world and not know what it's like to not have technology or social media in your life prior, you know? I thought this was interesting. This person said, a selfie is not taken as a way to preserve a memory, but rather to post in a social network for others to view. He said that the main purpose of a selfie is to impress others. It is therefore understandable that people go great lengths, including using filters to look photogenic. That's it from this article. And then I have two more quick ones I wanna share. Article from News Stateman says, Melissa Atkinson says, the problem with filters is that they all serve to conform or reinforce this idea of what we should be trying to achieve. So really, whether it says on it cosmetic or plastic surgery in the filter name or not, what you're putting out in the world and what other people are seeing in this idealized version of beauty. And it becomes very hard for people to live in a world where they are constantly seeing these perfect images. Sorry, I know that the lighting is significantly changing because I don't have my ring light in my room right now. It's so freaking hot, too hot to have light in my face and I'm using natural lighting and I'm not facing the window. So yeah, anyways, you guys understand, it's not easy. The last one I want to end with is from Women's Health and this is by Peace Amadi and she says, quote, Instagram has been tied to anxiety and depressive symptoms, but also to concerns such as anxiety related to physical appearance, increased body dissatisfaction, and lower self-esteem. And now that we're spending more minutes on these platforms, we can assume these concerns have not only remained, but increased. Because of course, since quarantine, there's been an increase in the use of social media. So the takeaway from this, in my opinion, is you don't need to look like the Instagram filter face to be beautiful. You are beautiful by the things that you say and the things that you do and how you treat and care for others. And if they don't see your real beauty, then that's on them. It's not a reflection of you. And I know it's so hard in a world where we're all trying to look perfect to sit here and say, you don't need to look like the Instagram filters. It sounds ridiculous to say that, but at the same time, you only have one life. Do you wanna be known as the person who wanted to look like an Instagram face filter or the person person who spoke out against injustices, the person who was caring towards others, the person who was helpful towards others, the person that impacted or changed the world in any way. I want to be known for that. I don't want to be known for just solely my looks or the way I transform my look. Anyways, I just wanted to spread some love and positivity, but also talk about something a little bit controversial. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please, please, please subscribe. It means so much to me. I want to do a giveaway really soon. So if you subscribe, it will definitely encourage me to do that giveaway. And please comment down below. Please let me know what you think. I want to hear what other people think about this because I feel like I'm not the only one who feels this way. I just want to hear from other people. Please let me know what you think. I hope you have a great week and I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye. Can we say hi, Geeks? Hi, everybody. Come on, Geeks. Sit, Geeks. Thank you.